what was a really, really, um, it was a massive sudden break on our show. And we wanted to just be able to take a minute uh, to explain a little bit more on that, about why we went off air last week. Um, because here on Capital Breakfast, we are a massive family. Um, we've got all of our team in the studio right now. And you as well. You're part of our family. You listening every single morning. You're part of that. And we wanted to share with you some pretty... It's, I mean, there's no other way of saying it. It's some really sad news. Um, I never thought I'd have to do this ever. Um, last Tuesday, very suddenly, we lost one of our best friends. My best friend. And our colleague, producer Joe. He was not just part of the Capital Breakfast family, but a loved member of the whole team. Everybody that works here at Capital completely obviously devastated and we're, we're trying to process this all together and, and we're all around each other and we're all a massive family and we wanted to be able to share this news with you as well so that you just understand a little bit more about where we're coming from. Joe has worked for Global, who obviously is the, is the parent company, um, for nine years. When I, when I first met him, he was the first person I met when I walked in the door. First, per very first person. And uh, I remember thinking, who's this guy? This guy is, <laughs> yeah, he's a bit of a, bit of a devil boy. Like, <laughs> like, I, remember, I remember thinking it and, and he took me out and, and he, was, he was that guy. You know, he worked on our video team. He's worked at LBC before. You know, he was with me right from my very first show. He taught me everything. I have sat in a radio studio, and I don't know sitting in a radio studio without, without him. It is really weird. It is really, really weird. Um, every huge A-lister that you ever hear on this show, they know who he is. Mm. Everyone. You know, he's the person that they spoke with first, and he's the, post, the person that, if you've ever called into this show, if you've done Wake Up On or anything like that, he was the person that picked up the phone and in his voice would go, Hello, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, buddy. Oh, yeah, you wake up, pal. Oh, yeah, let's do it. He, he's that guy. Um, you know, and, and he's there. He's, he's always been playing the old games as well with us. He's the person that I sit here and rinse constantly. Always. Um, yeah. So he's the person that, you know, we share our mornings with every day. And Sean and Sonny and our uh, exceptional team, <laughs> exceptional team of producers, you know, that keep the show moving. And I guess, you know, we wanted to be able to tell you a little bit about Producer Joe as a person. Now, this is going to be really hard. Um, he really couldn't do enough for people. Um, he was the nicest guy that I know, but hands down. Hands down. He was kind, caring, uh, loved dogs, <laughs> really loved dogs. Um, he was obsessed with his daily step count. Yeah. Um, he never ironed his clothes. Ever. <laughs> no, never, never ironed his clothes. <laughs> ever. He loved his family so much. His dad, Ivan, his mum, Celia, and his sister, Lou. He loved his fa friends and... OK, I was going to say his fans. He did love his fans. <laughs> he had a lot of fans. <laughs> he had fans. Um, but the thing that he loved most of all is, is doing this, this, this show. And he loved you listening right now he, he loved making you happy there are so many things that I could the list would go on that you had heard us do on Capital that, that was him he was like a, a genius at, at just coming up with these ideas and he was you know he was driven by the reaction from you every day you know as we all are you know and aside from being such an amazing guy he just was so much fun he was playful silly and you know sunny and Listen, he's, he's our best mate, isn't yeah. he? I mean, what is there anything you kind of want to say? I just, I'm just so grateful that we're all in this together and we all had the experience of knowing him because he was the best, the best guy ever. Yeah. And Sean, I know you only got to know him for a, for a short amount of time on this show. Yeah. But he was the best, right? Oh, you know, we spent six months of every day in the studio together and I'm just going to miss him singing his own lyrics to every song <laughs> while it's on. <laughs> Never got a word right, but I loved his versions. They were better. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, on that note, you know,
know the song High Hopes, Panic at the Disco? He always thought it was High Horse. <laughs> high Horse. It, <laughs> it was. Um, he was playful, he was silly, and that's how we want to remember him. And we would like you to remember him like that as well. This person is someone who is my absolute brother, and I never thought I'd have to be doing this on the radio. <laughs> So I just want to play out some of his more iconic and silly moments here on Capital. So just take a listen. Producer Joe likes to think that he can speak French when realistically he's just <laughs> oh, no. he's just reeling off his GCSE <laughs> French yeah. oral. Joe is representing France. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Joe, good morning. <laughs> Bonjour. Je m'appelle Joe. J'habite dans le Londres. Wait. Oh no. It's hard to say that one. Is it? <laughs> What is wrong with your face? Basically, what happened was, um, so I was a bit burnt from my Ibiza, and lovely Kate in the office said, you've got to put some moisturiser on now, you've got to rehydrate the skin. So I went home, got some moisturiser, put it all over my face, thought, right, great. Woke up this morning, come in the office, everyone's laughing at me. I'm like, what are you laughing at? Anyway, it turns out that the moisturiser was a fake tan tinted. <laughs> I've had a Producer Joe. This is embarrassing. The thing that I'm enjoying this one little bit. <laughs> I'm here in front of him. Yeah, look at his face. <laughs> Sam, in front, of, in front of incredible stuff like you, but. <laughs> oh, won't you stay oh, with thanks, me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Joe. Beautiful. <laughs> um, Joe, you're going to be so missed by us yeah. here at Capital every single day, mate. We know your family are listening right now. Our families are listening as well. So many other people that love you. You're a best friend to all of us. You love coming in here, entertaining people every morning, singing so horrendously out of key. <laughs> um, and we're going to carry on making people laugh for you, mate. Genuinely yeah. for you, OK? Producer Joe, we love you. And because of that, mate, the show's got to go on. The show's got to go on. So thank you so much, Joe. We love you so much. Anyway.